What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video will bring a little light to your day today, ladies and gentlemen. We finna check out seven things normal in Sweden that would terrify most Americans. Original video link will be in the description, so make sure y'all show the original content created some love. Let's get into it. Let's make this video bigger, though. Let's go into the screen. Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. And this one, I'm gonna talk about seven things normal in Sweden that would terrify most Americans. Let's get into it. Now, I want to explain that I realize that America is different and there's a lot of different things, but I still think this would shock most Americans. Some Americans would agree with some of the things that Sweden is doing. This video is mostly just for fun, and I'm going to try to keep most of my opinions out of this one, if possible, and just speak on how I think most Americans would view these. And then you tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's get into it. Let's number get one it. has to be like giving out your social security number here in Sweden. In Sweden, we have something called a personal number that you use for so many different things. And in the United States, we have a social security number that you use a handful of times of the year. And if somebody has your social security number or in the United States, the Literally. amount of fraud that someone can do, yep. like open up a credit card in your name, a bank account, try to take out a loan or something, there's a lot of damage that they can do. But here in Sweden, we when they use... These, this personal number that you have or your social security number is usually linked to something called mobile bank ID where you have to either use a thumbprint, a code, or like face ID if you want to in order to unlock certain things. And it's like super convenient when it comes to paying for things, uh, for banking, you know, logging into your bank details. And one thing I find here in Sweden is that we don't have anywhere near as much fraud as we have in the United States. And this would be something that I would think would terrify most Americans giving out their social security number. No, nah, that no lies though there, because it's it's crazy how like this 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 bar, I mean this group of numbers can open up so many opportunities if it if you get into the wrong hands. Like it can be really bad for you. But you know, they am having a way of having numbers that don't connect to all that stuff, you know? Like, I, I think that's actually really smart. Number two has to be socialism uh, or socialized medicine. I do think there's a lot of, obviously, half the country is interested in it, but there'd be a lot of people that would be nervous or scared of this because we often hear of all the horrors and the things that it ha can happen. What I can say as an American that lives in Sweden is I would agree that I think that the United States is the best healthcare system in the world if you can afford it. But if you can't, then I think it's a massive problem and something where if you lose at the lottery of life and you get sick, you can be broke. You know, here in Sweden, we have publicly funded health care. Yet sometimes it can take a long time unless it's like an emergency. But overall, in my personal experience of going through it, it really hasn't been that bad at all. And I, I've enjoyed it and I found it to be helpful. And then on top of that, it barely costs anything. It's like if you're getting medication and going to the doctor a lot, like, for example, it's like 120 bucks for medication is all you pay. After that, you pay no more. $120 for doctor visits. After that, you pay no more. It's roughly around that. It's, it's incredible when you see the difference where healthcare can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars in the States. But like I said, some Americans would just be afraid of this one. <laughs> like, no lies. It's kind of it's kind of wild hearing from like different places in the world. Like, it seems like we're the only one who spends so much money on healthcare, bro, like you would think, like in a way, like they would want us to be able to afford these things, but the, like the numbers be super high, like you said, like thousands of dollars, bro. Like who has that type of money sitting around, especially someone who's just an everyday person, you know? Number three has to be gas prices. You know, gas prices would terrify most Americans that drive every single day. Uh, I know there was the gas crisis that was happening in the States because they had to shut down uh, an oil pump because of like a hack in the States. And a lot of people were talking to me about how insane gas prices were. And I was like, really? Well, you should come to Sweden. Because in Sweden, you're taxed for having a car. And on top of that, uh, the gas prices are insane. It sometimes feels like it's like 4 or $5 for a gallon of gas. I'll, I'll try to put like what it is on here right up here so you guys can see it. So Amer most Americans would be terrified of that. And on top of that, the sizes of the cars that we have, because yeah. although I see trucks and yeah, there are some bigger vehicles, some American vehicles you see, most are tinier cars that are mostly fuel efficient, which makes a lot of sense because our gas prices are high here in Sweden. Let's yeah, five dollars is like high, <laughs> like super high. I think the most here is like two, 
three dollars somewhere around that range. Here's the next one. But first, our video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators, exploring new skills, deepening existing passions, and get lost in creativity. You can take classes like photography, music. Film and video, illustration. My Samba has been using Skillshare for over two years and is happy and loves it. Also, I my video is not sponsored. This is his video. <laughs> shoot and edit with I should probably. Uh, Brownie, one of my favorite YouTubers. And it's so much fun and interesting to just see. Let's go. Specifically for learning, meaning there are okay. no ads. There's always lunch situation. Why not learn something? They're running a special offer through my channel. The first 1,000 of my okay. subscribers to click yeah. the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Skillshare for sponsoring my video. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. I really love the service. The next I only skip through it. I only skip through it because his video is sponsored. My video is sponsored. I didn't want yeah, to get confused or nothing like that. Gun laws in the United States. You know, uh, in Sweden, there are guns and you can go and shoot, but you really can't have like a loaded gun in your house. You can't have like an assault weapon and the laws and restrictions in place are quite high and a lot of Americans would see this as like restrictive of freedom and whatnot but it's interesting because people still shoot people still have guns but we don't have like a necessarily big problem with you know what I'm not gonna say I don't want to get demonetized in in Sweden uh, and I think a lot of Americans would see this as they could lose their freedom and everything else but like I don't know. I kind of feel like in today's society with the internet, with the power of people getting together, uh, you don't necessarily need a firearm in that sense. But I understand also I was a hunter and I enjoyed it. So a lot of Americans would be terrified of this and not like it. The next one would have to be the current drug laws in Sweden with in regards to like MJ and other things. You know, Sweden has one of the harshest drug laws in the United States, and I really believe that most Americans would look at how Sweden does it as kind of being back in time. And that's just due to the fact that in the United States, we dealt with the war on drugs, if you will, and we saw how destructive it was, where it made people that were suffering, who were addicted, into criminals, and didn't really help them get back into society. And on top of that, I, I kind of think most Americans think that MJ really isn't a big deal. It seems to help some people. And most Americans would look at how Sweden does it as kind of, like I said, being back in time, very backwards thinking. The next one would have to be taxes. Yes, we definitely get taxed higher in Sweden. You know, you go to purchase something, you're paying like a 25% tax. But the difference is... 25%? The they add the tax like after you purchase it. And a lot of times when you buy stuff in Sweden, or when you buy stuff in Sweden, basically the tax is already included, so you don't always notice it so much. But the thing is, uh, I would think that although Americans will be afraid of the high taxes, personally, I don't mind paying them because I feel like I actually see where they go, and I see that it goes to benefit other people. So, yeah, it, it's not so bad. But most Americans will be terrified of that. Mm. The last one would have to be like drink portions and food portions. Now I find food portions in Sweden to be somewhat similar. If I go to a restaurant, I grab a burger and fries or I go out and eat. I don't feel like the American portions as opposed to the Swedish portions is so massively different. What about the, the ingredients? has to be like the sizes of drinks. I remember I first came to Sweden and they gave me like a little Coke like this and then you have to pay for a refill. And I was like, that is un-American, man. I'm <laughs> like, hold up. I got re I gotta pay to refill a car. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. That, that's like one of the benefits of like eating at a restaurant. Like you can just, especially that I got a drink machine, you just go to the drink machine, refill that joint as many times you want. You know? <laughs> like our small in the States is like, you're large. It's, it's insane. But you only notice it when you go back to the States, how big the drink sizes are. And it's interesting, too, because we have a lot of health problems in the States. And is that refill, those free refills we're giving, is is that freedom worth the damage that it causes? I'm not going to give my personal opinion on this one, but I've gotten used to not drinking so much pop. I maybe drink pop like once a month now. And yeah, I feel pretty good. So maybe it's good that I laid off the pop. So. Yeah, I mean, I got hold your pop. I, and I'm a huge pop drinker, so this is coming from somebody who drinks a lot of freaking soda. Yeah, I, I like soda can be can be damaging, but a lot of other things can be damaging also. So you know. So yeah. I don't know what you guys think, but I, this one was a fun one for me to do. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think. If you're American watching this video, would you be terrified of these things? Would you like these things? If you're more conservative, why would you not like these things that are available in Sweden? Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. 
Uh, please write your comments below on what you think. I'm always open to different ideas and different perspectives. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I don't think I'll be like super shocked. Like, I don't know. Like if, if I was to move to Sweden, like it would definitely be, I, I think the word is like a culture shock. I could be wrong. That's probably not the right word for it, but it would, it would be like mind blowing, like to see how different things are in a different, like from like taxes to like the food portions to like gas prices. Like you would have to adjust to, uh, you know, more of, you know, living in Sweden and how things would go about there, you know? And but I, I think that's I think it's 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 um it's good that you know different places in the world have their own way of living you know some may be beneficial some may hurt you know but you know I I think every place has its pros and cons I don't I, me personally I feel like you just have to adjust to where you're living I don't think no place is better than the other you just have to figure out you know what works for you while living there i think but yeah um yeah this is this is really good man like i said i'm gonna leave the original video link in the description y'all make sure i go show him some love for making this video uh i, I love watching these videos to just kind of get an insight on how other people are living around the world uh this is why i love like youtube and just technology and the internet itself like you can literally google search our youtube all this stuff and just see it you know, like it's, it's kind of wild, you know. I can literally travel the world via internet, you know, just by just searching different things. But yeah, man, original video link in the description. Hope you enjoy my reaction. And we out, deuces.